Sacramento, known for its rich history, also carries tales that send shivers down the spine. Are you ready to journey through the city's spectral past? Here are the top most haunted places in Sacramento. First up is the Sacramento Theatre Company, a landmark on H Street. This venue has more than just performances to its name. Established in 1942, its walls are said to echo with more than just applause. Among its spectral residents is the renowned Pinky, a former stagehand donning a pink shirt. But he isn't alone. Ghostly whispers, sudden cold drafts, and mysterious footsteps have become as much a part of this theatre as its actors and stagecraft. Whether it's the allure of the limelight or some unfinished business, the spirits here ensure the drama isn't limited to just the stage. The Old City Cemetery. Established in the 1840s, this cemetery stands as a testament to Sacramento's storied past. Amidst its ancient tombstones and manicured gardens lie tales of yesteryears, some of which seemingly refuse to rest. Visitors often report eerie sensations, unexplained noises, and occasional sightings of ghostly apparitions, especially during dusk. Some believe it's the spirits of the city's pioneers, making their presence known in a place where history sleeps. The Delta King Hotel Anchored along the Sacramento River, this historic riverboat was once a beacon of luxury in the 1920s. Now a floating hotel, restaurant, and theater, guests and staff often recount tales of spectral encounters. The most famed is the spirit of a young girl often seen wandering the decks or playing in empty rooms. Disembodied voices, the soft giggle of a child, and unseen hands adjusting the settings make staying at the Delta King an experience like no other. The Leland Stanford Mansion. This impressive structure, now a state historic park, was home to one of California's most influential figures, Leland Stanford. However, despite its grandeur, there's a mysterious air to it. Visitors have often mentioned seeing ghostly figures, possibly members of the Stanford family, roaming the halls. The soft sounds of piano music when no one's playing and the fleeting scent of vintage perfumes add to the mansion's enigmatic aura. The Eagle Theater. As Sacramento's first permanent theater built in 1849, it might have more than just historical plays to its credit. Over the years, there have been accounts of lights flickering without reason, props moving on their own, and ghostly visages appearing during performance. Some say it's the spirit of performance from bygone eras still seeking their moment in the spotlight. The Vernon Brannan House. This historic edifice has worn many hats, from Sacramento's inaugural post office to the hub of the Sacramento Pioneer Association. Its walls have borne witness to the city's evolving tale. But amidst its storied past, some residents haven't quite moved on. Visitors often speak of a courteous female spirit who, if you block her path on the stairs, gently whispers, excuse me. And if you notice the lights on the upper balcony flickering or turning on by themselves, know that you're not alone. And lastly, the Old Sacramento Underground Tunnels. Beneath the bustling streets of Old Sacramento lies a labyrinth of tunnels, each echoing with whispers of the past. Originally constructed to raise the city above flood levels, these dark passages have witnessed countless tales, many who've dared to venture within, especially those in the Old Sac Paranormal Investigation Tour, have reported menacing energies, chilling drafts, and inexplicable noises echoing through the eerie stillness. For those curious souls with an appetite for history and a dash of the mysterious, these locales offer an unforgettable journey into Sacramento's enigmatic side. But remember, with every step, you might just be walking alongside the echoes of the past. There you have it, our top seven haunted places in Sacramento. If you have a spooky place you think we missed, leave it in the comments. Thank you for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time, Sacramento.